We're gonna now. This is a person that um, doesn't really get brought up in the uh, the threads that I usually look at, but I think they're like they're they're somewhat like contextually involved with contrapoints or something like that. I have no idea how or whatever, but um, this is a uh, I I love black people. I love black people. I love I love Jesse Lee Peterson. I want to give Jesse Lee I want to give Jesse Lee Peterson the biggest of hugs. I definitely want to do that. But uh, this is this is uh, this is uh, a, a twenty-minute post of somebody posting their L's online. At around ten p.m. on Friday, January, we're also going to speed this up a little bit. Another smaller Twitter account saying that the account at Stone Toss Comics had. Been we're we're going to speed this up just a little bit. To that account, and it led me to a page which said that the. Let's go back. Let's go back to the start. At around ten p.m. on Friday, January eighth, I saw a tweet by another smaller Twitter account saying that the account. At Stone Toss Comics had been banned. I clicked on the link to that account, and it led me to a page which said that the account had been banned for violating Twitter's rules of service. Naturally, I took this as sufficient evidence that the infamous neo-Nazi artist the account was named after had been banned from Twitter. This news came in a wave of other notable bans from far-right social media influencers. And Using uh, Mr. Blue Sky to celebrate your ideological opponent's uh, banning on social media is uh, very uh, dis distasteful also i just want to point out that uh it's funny because uh at stone toss comics um now i i like stone toss i really like stone toss comics um i know that the official app for stone toss is at stone underscore toss which you could look up pretty easily with a simple google search so like you know this was a um this was like a, a really really stupid move and uh well do better research i guess i don't know <laughs> um influencers and of course our soon to be former president donald trump we'll come back to him later but for just like the 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 um the important thing to understand the important thing to understand that i think that uh drove uh the events that are going to be portrayed in this video this is a very simple understandable statement to to to, to get um I think everybody in chat kind of understands this, at least intuitively, right? Um, there is possibly, there is possibly no more loathsome combination for a, for a human being's personality to inhabit than a combination of stupidity and smugness. There's, there's, there's nothing that people hate more than a person who is really stupid and really smug about it. No, nothing, nothing, nothing comes close. Nothing comes close to being like th this is. This is like a valid thing to to mock. It's a it's a smug midwit that is you know getting hoisted up by their own petard. And you you love to see it. You love to see it. That's why like it's so easy to make fun of Hassan Piker because he's an idiot and he's smug and it's just great. Um, so let, let's let's get into this. Now, what's important is that Twitter was banning several prominent far-right accounts. So that context plus seeing at Stone Toss Comics being banned led me to believe that Twitter had banned their official account. So I tweeted out celebrating that Stone Toss had been banned. I did the whole crab rave bit and everything. And let me be clear, I was absolutely celebrating that someone was being deplatformed off of Twitter. This is an open... And this is why, also, it's perfectly fun to laugh at you. I'm mean, perfectly fine to laugh at you. I, I have... I really have no respect or even really believe in the um, validity of human experience when it comes to deplatformers. I think deplatformers are just literally subhuman. If you celebrate deplatforming, unless it's like a person who advocates for deplatforming as sort of like a little bit of a schadenfreude and kind of little irony or something like that, I think that's acceptable. But when you're just celebrating, you know, people getting banned who don't advocate for people to get banned, I just, I think less of you. I just, I think less of you. It's as simple as that. Racist, transphobe, and neo-Nazi. He's made comics alluding to race realism, where he compares black people to pit bulls, comics alluding to explicitly anti-Semitic conspiracy theories, and comics where he makes fun of the nature of trans suicide, which is uniquely awful, since every study on the issue shows that the main reason trans people commit suicide is because of social harassment just like this. No I don't think comics are social harassment. I think if he tweeted towards you with a comic like that that might be considered harassment but like just posting them out into the ether like a person expressing themselves isn't harassment it really isn't it 100 percent isn't 
100% is not. Formerly the reason Stone Toss is able to evade TOS violations is because he can couch his ideas in just enough plausible deniability to defend himself. Oh, I'm not a racist, transphobe, Nazi. If you're reading that into here, that's your fault. This will become relevant again later, but sometimes he also lets himself... See, that's like the, uh, the, 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 the key to Stone Toss's brilliance is that he understands where the line is and works well within it. Um... That's why that's why it works so well is that it's just it's well that and he's also just Stone Toss Stone Toss in general is remarkable in how well of a cartoonist he is. Um, his understanding of comedic timing is nothing short of masterful. At least that's what I think. Um, he's also able to draw a very distinct, very recognizable, very simple art style that's visually pleasing and conveys exactly what the author's intent is with very little effort like it's it's really not hard to get the point behind a stone toss comic it it's it, it speaks for itself you know it's 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 very good it's very good i think anyway i think i think stone toss is a, a, a comic genius i slip just a bit too much and exposes what he really believes. Like, for example, when he tweeted out, daily reminder that the correct response to people accusing someone of being a racist or a Nazi isn't, but is he really? It's actually, so what? Which, honestly, is a good take. Like, it's a it's a good take of anything. Whenever somebody tries to engage in, like, a character assassination attempt on somebody by just saying, like, this person is X, the correct response isn't to validate that person's claim or validate future claims that person is X. The claim is to just be like, okay, so... I was like, did 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 he did he do something like bad? Did he like did he kick a puppy? Now, if he kicked a puppy, the response is, I hate it when people kick puppies. That's awful. Why would anyone kick a puppy? The the, the that is the base take. That is the that is the correct take. Is like whenever somebody confronts you, if this person is X, it's just like, so what? He had to delete this tweet shortly after because he let the mask slip a bit too much. So Andreas Pearson's like, chat, you're racist. And insert here is like, so what? Exactly. This man, this man gets it. This man gets it. Or Mr. Sagwa, who's like, and for normies, some of this, some of his work is just gibberish. It's, it's slightly esoteric. Yeah. It, that's also the other way that Sotas like flies by the radar is that he's very esoteric. However, it's just like recognizable enough that it gets translated to like thousands, uh, hundreds of different languages too. We know what his intentions are. He intentionally spreads bigoted and far right ideas under just enough deniability to stay on Twitter most of the time. If you want even more evidence of this, another content creator, Thought Slime, did a video covering Stone Toss extensively, and there's also a subreddit thread where evidence that Stone Toss. Yeah, but Thought Slime is a is a useful idiot pseudo intellectual who's kind of a man child. So, you know, I guess that's a so what argument too, though. I mean, it works both ways. It works. It works both ways. It's more. It's more like going in and trying to. Um, it's 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 going in and trying to um, to. Uh, make it so that people have to make more substantial arguments instead of just saying they're X. Toss's neo-Nazi is documented extensively. I would suggest that you go check those out. Links in the description. So when I saw that the account at Stone Toss Comics had been banned in the midst of other prominent far-right fans on Twitter, I tweeted out, Stone Toss is gone. And I celebrated, thinking that Twitter finally saw through Stone Toss's bit and banned him for violating their terms of service against spreading hate. So this is the second time that we've come around to this. Uh, don't repeat yourself in videos if you can help it. Like, it, unless I guess you're in my position where they're repeating their topic points and then I have to, like, bring it up why it's wrong again. And it's just stop repeating yourself, please. Towards protected groups and for being the out and about neo-Nazi that everyone knows that he is. And this tweet absolutely blew the fuck up. Like, for context, I have about ten and a half thousand followers on Twitter and I normally get an average of a couple hundred likes per tweet. Within just a couple hours, this tweet had well over ten thousand likes. Like, holy fuck. Early on, some responders pointed out that the account at stone underscore toss was still up on Twitter. Given the fact that this person is, again, an actual neo-Nazi, I assume that the account that was banned was either- If I if I zoom in, it lends more credibility to what I'm saying. If I raise my voice an octave, that it really increases the validity of what I'm saying. It's just so fucking obnoxious and I hate, I hate smug stupid, stupid people. I really do, I really do. I have nothing but contempt for these people his main account or one of his alternate accounts. To be clear, at this point, there's still no way to know if this other account was run by Stone Toss, and it's very likely that it was run by him as a way to be able to post more of his explicitly bigoted content, but after the tweet got about 10,000 likes, Stone Toss... What's your rationale that it's very likely to assume? 
did they follow each other? That would probably be like the big one is that if they followed each other and like the other guy like retweeted like immediately afterwards. But I mean, fan accounts exist for a reason, dude. It's just it's it's a it's a common practice on the Internet. Like it's it's it's, you know, it's whatever. Came into the replies under the account at stone underscore toss and basically started playing up the, oh, that account totally wasn't me. And also look how stupid you are for thinking that it was card. Naturally, I didn't believe him. He's a compulsive. Well, I mean, yeah, like that's that's like that's the real reason for this like vindictive thing right here that, that's like the real that's the that's the real reason uh somebody fell for a like a a parody not a parody account but somebody fell for like a, another account that maybe reposted his stuff or something like that getting banned and then you got exposed looking like an idiot and you're mad about that the uh the the correct response by the way is to just kind of try not to be an idiot and not to try to gloat and be a smug asshole but you know we're not here because of that also <laughs> liar and denies ever spreading the messages that we all know he does in his comics later on that same night he made the claim that my community is full of pedophiles and he guaranteed it when i confronted him about it he lied and pulled the card he always does it was this week i read that message it's absolute and he guaranteed it Guarantee you the miners in Discord server were being researched. Oh. I don't think he actually said that you're a pedophile. I think he says that you have miners in your Discord. Which might be kind of confusing and weird. Mostly because, like, in general, uh, because I, you know, am a person who will talk about some adult subjects and stuff like that, I just generally have a rule that I don't like people under the age of 18 in my Discord. I don't like talking to people under the age of 18 in my Discord. Or on Discord whatsoever. It's just kind of weird. He lied and pulled the card he always does and said that I read that message into his text, even though it's absolutely clear what he was saying. So when he said that the mm, okay. And the account wasn't him, I didn't buy it. I decided to do some follow-up research with my community into the account that was banned. What we found was that on Stone Toss's official website, stonetoss.com, there was no reference to the at Stone Toss Comics account, and only the at Stone underscore Toss account was linked to his site. Again, to be clear, this account could have been and likely was run by Stone Toss as another way to spread his bigoted content. And again, you have absolutely no proof of that, no evidence, and you're all basing this based on your own thoughts. Okay. Again, like you gotta you gotta prove it. You gotta you gotta prove what you're saying is real. Content. But I also took this as sufficient evidence to prove to me that at minimum the banned account was not his main account. So I decided to do the honest thing and take down the tweets where I said that his main account was banned and put out a formal apology. Even don't really think that's the honest thing to do. I think the honest thing to do would be to retweet it and say that you're wrong with that. If you're deleting it, then you're just trying to like hide the evidence that you were wrong because you kind of got exposed. Got a bad tip that Stone Toss's main account was banned on follow up. Credible sources seem to say that I was mistaken. Credible source. What are these credible sources? What? What? Credible sources like on Discord from the internet? Even though this was and continues to be one of the worst people on Twitter, I care about being intellectually honest and ensure. Well, that's not really intellectually honest. That's actually intellectually dishonest. Like 100%. That if I am shown to be it's not like we have recordings of Vosh and Surfs logging into their alts to spread bigoted lies on right wingers on each other. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know. Has Vosh done that? I know that that weirdo from the Surfs did it because uh, he didn't want people to know he didn't want the quartering to know that he was talking about himself which is really weird wrong by evidence contrary to my views that i changed my mind and make any necessary public acknowledgement wrong about something in the face of evidence contrary to what i previously believed that somehow my credibility as a researcher is thrown into question when you fall for like basic things and don't do a simple follow-up by like searching stone toss on twitter to see if they're not banned then yeah, your your credibility to do research is actually into question. Your ability to critically think, I think, is a little bit put into question. It's 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 a it's a little sketchy. It's just just a, just a just a tiny just a tiny bit sketchy. It's just a it's just a little bit suspect that you're not uh, very aware of uh, what you're saying, and we'll just kind of make shit up. Because apparently researchers are never allowed to be wrong about anything, or if they are, they can just never admit when they're wrong and should just stand by their wrong beliefs instead of being honest with the evidence. You didn't stand by it. You deleted it. You tried to hide it and then said that you deleted it and that you were wrong, but you still deleted it. So you did try to do damage control. 
Like again, the, the the crux of all this happening is that they're very upset that Stone Toss went out and mocked them for making a really dumb mistake and being stupid and smug on the internet. Which honestly, I'm 100% for. Like, yeah, uh, if you're being smug and stupid on the internet, you should probably be mocked. The fact that this is what Stone Toss and his followers think researches says a lot about their worldview in comparison to mine. In response to one of Stone Toss's many tweets where he is sticking his audience on my account, I made this exact comment of how apparently it's a bad thing to them. It's really interesting to me because my worldview is organized around changing my mind and in the face of evidence to the contrary of what I previously believed to be true. And to you, that's apparently a bad thing, which isn't surprising in the slightest coming from you. So what? So he's sending targeted harassment towards them by retweeting them, but they themselves are not sending targeted harassment towards Stone Toss by retweeting him. Sounds a sounds a little bit contradictory. Sounds a little, you know, I'm I'm getting a little cognitively dissonant trying to like put their thoughts into a uh, into a into into like them actually meaning what they they're saying. It sounds like they're they're lying. That I have a worldview organized around actually changing my mind in the face of contrary evidence. Because Stone Toss didn't care about the fact that I said something that was wrong about him. He never did. He only cared about sending his audience of a hundred thousand bigots to harass a trans woman on Twitter. This is evidenced by the fact that after I apologized- I don't think it was because you were trans. I think it was because you were being smug and stupid on the internet. But, okay, go off. Apologized and he had nothing that he could criticize me for. This is when he made the accusation, without any evidence, that my community is full of pedophiles. Remember that from earlier? The reason he made that accusation is clear, because- No, I think he just said there are minors in it, which is kind of- this settling. I don't think anybody should be in a private Discord server of minors, honestly. I don't think minors should be on the internet, to be honest. Because he could no longer justify sending his audience to harass me on some flimsy basis that I somehow acted dishonestly since I formally apologized for my prior tweets. He had to find some other excuse to send his audience after me. He never cared about the truth. He only cared about causing me harm. This How... <laughs> Retweeting is harming somebody, by the way. Like, I, I'll never understand this concept either, that, like, uh, uh, talking shit about somebody who talks shit about you on Twitter is harming them. Like, fam, no, you can't have it both ways. You just can't. This is also evidenced by the fact that in another tweet where he continues to ignore my apology and acknowledgement that I was wrong, he also decided to openly misgender me by directly referring to me as a fella. Now, some of the trolls who are watching may try commenting, uh, how in the hell is that misgendering? This is just some woke PC police trying... I just don't care, to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm so, I'm so past caring. Again, like, don't be smug and stupid on the internet. That's a very simple solution. Trying to silence perfectly reasonable speech. And, uh, yeah, this is a Tweety with screenshots. It's arm. Yeah. Ridiculous argument made entirely in bad faith. Oh, okay. Well, thank goodness you're able to say that it was in bad faith. You might actually have to actually address it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh God! I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I, I wanna die, chat. I wanna die. Huh. Not only does every major credible source define fella as explicitly referring to men or males, and not only are we talking about some. I don't know if Urban Dictionary uh, classifies as a credible source, by the way. Just, just, just saying. One who, again, has spread explicitly transphobic content. But this is just also on par for how Stone Toss operates. He intentionally spreads content. I don't think he like works out deliberately how he's going to tweet at you, fam. I don't think that he thinks about you that much. I think he was just having a laugh at a person who was being smug and stupid on the internet. With the goal of harming people, especially minorities, and tries to have just enough plausible deniability to say that he wasn't. This is not a situation where he just happened to use a term that is almost always used to refer explicitly to men and made an honest mistake of misgendering a trans person. This is a situation where he was fanning his transphobic following to harass me even after I had taken down the original tweet and he had no other reason to criticize me. We know this is the case because even in the tweet where he replied to me after I started reporting him, he not only completely ignored the allegation that he misgendered me, the basis for the report in the first place, but he also chose to specifically not gender me correctly. In fact, he never. Wait, let's let's go let's go back let's go back to the t let's see. Hi, Twitter safety. I'd like to clarify that the above interaction that I had with this user began with their claim that a banned account impersonating me was actually me. They then tried to incite others to mass report me. Context. Ah, oh, okay. So you tried to get people to flag him. Uh, remember when you tried doubling down on the oh it's personal account defense before deleting everything when you got blown the fuck out? Good detective work me correctly in fact he wait 
Wait, 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 wait. Um, hi, Twitter safety. I'd like to clarify that the above interaction with the user began with their claim that a banned account impersonating me was actually me. Then they tried to incite others to mass report me. Ha 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 ha. Remember when you're... Remember when Yor tried doubling down on the, oh, it's his personal account defense before deleting everything, got blown the fuck out, good detective work? He doesn't refer to your gender once within this entire screenshot. What? What? What the fuck? Wait, let's, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Reporting him. He not only completely ignored the allegation that he misgendered me, the basis for the report in the first place, but he also chose to specifically not gender me correctly. The screenshot that you're putting on screen has nothing to do with what you're saying. Uh, it's just so tiresome, chat. It really is. It really is. Ah, uh, my head hurts. I'm gonna pound some aspirin once I'm done here. Oh my god. In fact, he never gendered me correctly in any of the interactions with him on Twitter whatsoever. These are not the actions of someone just making an honest mistake. They're the actions of someone who is trying not to get caught red-handed. We also know what his intentions were because all throughout the night, I had to block and report fan after fan of his who came into the replies just to harass me. Did he ever directly tell people to go and do that? No, well then he didn't direct them to do it. At least not in a provable way. To be fair, some of them were responding with regular misogyny. For example, many people commented adding an account called Women Posting Their L's Online. Base account, by the way. An account literally dedicated to sending its entire fan base after women on Twitter to harass them. Mm, more to just laugh at funny screenshots, but, you know, whatever. Now, to be fair, they do say on their account, do not message or harass anyone. Oh, so they directly tell people not to do it. Posted, you will be. Okay, so all right. So they're they're directly telling people not to do it, or else they're not going to interact with them. Okay. Blocked, uh, which is deeply ironic. But it's not deeply ironic. It's a direct way on how they run their account, so they don't like encourage harassment. Wait, this also violates Twitter's COS and should be banned. No, it doesn't. They're directly telling people to not do that. But to be clear, a large majority of the responses have been explicitly transphobic. A lot of the trolls and neo-Nazis are going to come into the comments of this video and say, Ugh, you just want to get people you dislike off of Twitter. Yeah, especially if they publicly humiliate you for being an idiot. It, that, that, that is what it sounds like. Yes, you, you, you do seem like you're very mad at the internet. You seem very mad at the internet. You're so triggered. If you're so triggered, then just block them, Snowflake. Yeah, stop getting mad at the internet. Like, easy. But we know that this is about more than just how to deal with people that you don't like online. Okay. Coming back to Trump, Twitter had to ban him and similar far-right figures online for the same reason. Because they spread misinformation, propaganda, and bigotry that increase the likelihood of their followers to take action offline. Surprisingly. Okay. It turns out that when you constantly spread the lie that the election was stolen from you and that your followers should never surrender, that your followers may become slight. I don't think never s telling people never to surrender is really a lie. It's kind of unfalsifiable. Slightly more likely to storm the capital of our nation and literally attempt a coup d'etat. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. Similarly here, what do you think would happen if I ever met one of Stone Toss's followers offline? I would probably just tell you to stop getting mad at the internet and go outside, honestly. Uh, I think that's all I would do. It's like, fam, just uh, stop stop doubling and tripling down. Just take the L. Just, you know, go 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 outside. How is cyberbullying even real? Just like, I can't say the rest of it, but you know what I mean. think that they would leave me be? Do you think that they would say something to the effect of, oh, hello there. I appreciate that you apologized and took down the tweet that you made about Stone Toss. No, I would just say that, like, you, you kind of got what you deserved. You were being a disingenuous, smug asshole on the internet, and you kind of got what you deserved. Maybe you learned from it. Maybe you learned to not be such a smug, obnoxious asshole on the internet, and it probably won't happen again. You know, just a little bit of, just a, just a, just the tiniest bit of humility can really save a lot of people from really embarrassing situations. At least that's what I think. You did the right thing, and that's so hard to find online nowadays. Or do you think that they would harm or even murder me, like so many other trans-
Yeah, I probably wouldn't. I, I, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't. I would just say stop getting mad at the internet. People are today. According to every reputable source, trans people face vastly disproportionate amounts of violence and murder. That's like a idiosyncrasy I'm getting from this person is that they like to say every credible source, even though they're like credible sources have often been like random people on Discord. To the general population. And the causes of that violence are people like Stone Toss who normalize hate against trans people and who send their audiences to harass trans people online. Now, I know that there are some people, even those who are on the left, who may make an argument, something to the effect of, listen, Riley, I know that what Stone Toss is doing is absolutely awful, but asking Twitter to come... I don't think it is. I don't, I don't think anything that Stone Toss does was particularly awful uh, at all. And, ...and remove him from the platform runs a dangerous risk of Twitter banning any political influencer, including left-leaning or progressive advocates. I strongly disagree with this argument. I do agree that Twitter should not just start censoring and removing political accounts just because they hold views which fall slightly outside the Overton window of most political discussion. What I do believe is that Twitter should deplatform influencers who actively recruit and foster communities which are statistically more likely to cause harm to others. And of course, I run the statistics, so it's just convenient how that works out. Yeah, okay. We all know what happens if we allow these influencers to reach and radicalize wider audiences. We get Unite the Right, we get the Christchurch shooting, and we get the events in D.C. where people bearing Trump and Confederate flags <laughs> stormed our capital and attempted to usurp our democracy. Yeah, they didn't. Also... Always with the our 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 democracy. I I hate that phrase so gosh damn much. It's not a democracy. It's a republic. Fuck off. This is not about deplatforming people who have inherently right leaning political views. It kind of is. It it kind of is. This is about deplatforming dangerous influencers who intentionally dangerous. Okay. Foster followings that are more likely to cause harm against others offline. Regardless of your political views, nobody who intentionally fosters this kind of community should be afforded access to larger online spaces where they can radicalize people to take these kind of actions. Okay. And as with most social media platforms, having the ability to use Twitter is not protected by the First Amendment right to freedom of speech. Should be, though. Uh, we definitely need, like, an Internet Bill of Rights. I think that that's a, uh, a pretty common sense solution to these problems in general uh, as, as the Internet becomes more and more necess necessary for, uh, you know, our life in general. Despite what many people online would have you believe, users on Twitter are there at the discretion of the company itself. And companies have the right to remove them from their platforms, for example, for violating their terms of service. Now, if you want to get really atomistic, this goes to the issue of positive versus negative liberties. Positive liberties being your freedom to affirmatively take advantage of certain rights, negative liberties being freedom from regulations for certain actions. In order to achieve the maximization of positive liberties for everyone in society, that necessarily means that people cannot have some negative liberties. In order to live in a society where we can have the positive right to enjoy driving on safe roads, that does mean removing the negative liberties of drivers to be able to be free from regulation of drinking and driving. In order to live in a society where we can have the positive right to enjoy not living in a pandemic-stricken country, that does mean removing the negative liberties of people to be free from laws requiring people to wear masks. In order to live in a society where we can have the positive right to know that we will not be discriminated against on the basis of our skin color by institutions, that does mean removing the negative liberties for those institutions to treat people disparately because of their skin color. And in order to live in a society where anyone of any gender has the positive liberty to be free from disparaging treatment due to their gender identity, that does mean removing the negative liberties of people to be able to engage in targeted harassment and discrimination against people on the basis of their gender identity. Slavery is freedom, weakness is strength, ignorance is knowledge. Yeah, okay. Fuck off, authoritarian. Fuck, fuck right the fuck off. I hate authoritarians so damn much, dude. This is especially relevant here. Some people might think that this is just an issue to be hashed out in the free marketplace of ideas. And if Stone Toss acted in the wrong here, then his followers would realize that and, just as rational actors do, would realize the errors of their ways and unfollow or even block Stone Toss. But, like, we know- Stone Toss was in the right, though, so... Sorry, you lost. So this is not how this works out in real life. If that were the case, then Stone Toss and neo-Nazis like him wouldn't have a following in the first place. Because the ideas that they spread are not only bigoted and harmful, but they're often just wrong. They, they just are. I just said that they're wrong, and that's how that... I'm, I'm a credible source. That means anything I say is authoritatively correctly and correct. Yeah, okay. Whenever Stone Toss makes a race-realist comic comparing black people to pit bulls by some inherently violent nature... And whenever he makes a comment spreading the conspiracy that the world is secretly controlled by the Jews. And whenever he makes a comment spreading the falsehood that oh, trans no. people stand up for themselves, not because being misgendered and dehumanized normalizes violence against us, but because we're triggered snowflakes and listening to PC police, he is just spreading lies. We know that Stone Toss and his audience do not care about the truth. They just care about kicking down at minorities. And when we're talking about a neo-Nazi with over 100,000 followers on Twitter versus a trans person with less than a tenth of the size of his following, this is not a fair and equal... 
Listen, I'm better and smarter than Stone Toss because I said that I am. So I deserve a bigger following than Stone Toss does so that I can do this to people that I think are mean because they're wrong. Free marketplace of ideas. It's mob harassment. No, it really isn't. He didn't tell people to go harass you. Another strong example for why this is the case is that there were many people who came into that tweet thread where I, again, apologized for relying on bad information and told me to... Well, you did damage control and took it down and then said that you were in the wrong. I don't know if that's really an apology. Take the L. Doesn't... Yeah, you probably should have just taken the L. Like, a lot of this probably could have been avoided. Like, I wouldn't be covering this video if you had just taken the fucking L. Like, it's very simple. Doesn't that just sound a little weird to you? Not really. You, 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 you had the L. You need to take the L. Coming into a thread where I am acknowledging that I was wrong and telling me to take an L? Yeah, uh, no, that sounds pretty reasonable because you were doubling down. If what they really wanted was for me to apologize and say that I'd been wrong, I already did that. Well, I think they also probably wanted you to keep the original tweet up so that, like, you just remember that you were, like, really wrong. You made a big mistake. It's almost as if they didn't want an apology. It's almost as if they don't care about the truth. It's almost as if they just wanted a trans woman on Twitter to suffer. Some of those people explicitly... I mean, I don't... Like, personally, personally, like I said before, I don't really have a problem with trans people in general. I, I don't. Like, I have friends who are trans, and they're pretty cool. Um, you're a smug asshole, and a really dumb one. And it's fun to make fun of smug, dumb assholes being smug, dumb assholes on the internet. That's like... That's like, that's the, that's the, the main thing. I think that everybody can agree whether, whether you, 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 you know, you don't like trans people or you do like trans people. Everybody can get together and shake hands with their big muscly hands. One of them's black for some reason. One of them's white for some reason. They're, they're both, they're both clasping their hands in, 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 in solidarity with their shared hatred of dumb, smug assholes on the internet being dumb, smug, gloating douchebags on the internet. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's, that, that's why, fam. That's why. He responded, making fun of trans suicide. My guess is that what a lot of those people really wanted was for me to break under the weight of that harassment and to take my own life. This especially makes sense when discussing the theory of stochastic terrorism. Now, stochastic terrorism is a social theory where dangerous influencers may not... Note, it's a social theory, not a social law, by the way. ...not say directly harm X person, but they will spread content often framed as lighthearted, entertaining, rebellious, and fun, and which will fundamentally obscure the impact that content has on vulnerable and underrepresented populations, such as the LGBTQ community, women, immigrants, and people of color. This is you know, I wonder if I'm doing that, because like I said, I was like, I'm really pointing, it's like, hey, I actually don't have a problem with them. I just don't like smug assholes on the internet. I don't know. Probably. I'm going to probably be, if I publish this, I'll probably just be like labeled as a super far right person and shit. I don't know. But uh, who cares? This has been previously studied by the Data and Research Institute looking at YouTubers, but the yeah, but, like, their methodology for that has been mocked very repeatedly by a lot of people. It's not really... It's actually kind of, like, uh, it's it's kind of, like, treated silly and shit like that. I've never seen Predator. Yeah, I've never seen Predator. I need to watch it. This applies perfectly here as well. A large far-right influencer creates seemingly lighthearted and entertaining content, which normalizes disparate treatment of particular minorities. Stone Toss has made multiple comics making fun of trans suicide, so it's absolutely no surprise that that's where his audience would go. And if you want another prominent example of recent stochastic terror- But it seems as if, like, most of the writings didn't tell you to and hero. So it's weird that, like, they didn't go there. I don't know if that's like if that's your point. There should be more, but it you put point pulled up one example, so yeah, like more of the examples were like you had more examples of them telling you to take the L. Don't look any further than Trump's statements the day that his followers stormed the Capitol. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. To peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Peacefully. What does peacefully mean, Riley? What is what is what does peacefully mean? Can you you know what 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 do your credible sources say the definition of peacefully is? It's very uh very very uh you know telling. Today we will see whether Republicans stand strong for integrity of our elections, but whether or not they stand strong for our country. 
our country. Our country has been under siege for a long time. Note that technically, he never actually said for his followers to do the things that they did. He explicitly said to go do it peacefully, mind you. He explicitly, not even like indirectly, explicitly said peacefully. Gotta take that L, fam. You gotta take that L. But looking back now, no reasonable person would say that he is not responsible for inciting his followers to commit one of the largest attack. If you don't read in to them saying peacefully as a direct incitement to go do something violent, you are not a reasonable person by this logic. I don't think that word means what you're... What, what are your credible sources saying the word peacefully means, by the way, or reasonably? What, what do these definitions mean to you? ...against our democracy in history and break our record for conflictless transitions of power. To be clear, these tweets are in direct violation of Twitter's policy against harassment. The reason that Stone Toss has made as far as he has on Twitter is because he's normally able to do better at hiding his true intentions and views behind... I think Stone Toss does so well on Twitter because his comics are just like... They, they're they're very simple and they're very profound at the same time i think that's why he does so well at least that's what i think behind a slight veneer of plausible deniability but just like when he tweeted so what if people are racist or nazis he let his guard down too much here as well even today january 9th as i record this video he tweeted out people think being racist means that you can't be a nice person and like fam what can i say but yikes Fam, you're probably in your mid-twenties. Please don't be a 14-year-old valley girl that says yikes. I beg you. It doesn't really matter what you are. Just don't, don't, unless you're a 14-year-old valley girl, don't say yikes. Now, listen. To people in our community, other creators who are watching, and anyone else who cares about whether or not we allow this kind of behavior to cause harm online, go and report these tweets. Report the- Oh, so you're doubling down on- inciting your viewers to report him and flag him oh the one where specifically he normalizes misgendering a trans woman and report the one where he spreads the lie that me and my largely lgbtq plus community are all pedophiles also didn't say that either so report other banworthy tweets on his account or just report his account directly <laughs> i like that ralph i like that ralph is right here on this person's recommended when, when, when this person looks up stone toss Oh my gosh. Holy shit. My tweet is going to be at the top of my video description so that people can like and retweet it. If enough of you do, then Twitter safety has to respond to it. Twitter has already established that it will ban accounts that foster communities that are likely to cause harm to others. That is a direct violation of their terms of service and is exactly what Stone Toss is doing here. This is exactly what Movie Bob did. Don't be Movie Bob. Don't be like, don't be like Movie Bob. I am sorry that I was wrong about Stone Toss's main account being banned. You're sorry that you got made to look like an asshole, but you're doubling down on that in a different way, I guess. Let me be clear, though. The reason I'm sorry is not out of some respect for Stone Toss. Yeah, it's not targeted harassment when I do it. Exactly. He's awful and deserves to be removed from Twitter. I'm sorry because I want you, the audience, my viewer, I want you to be able to trust that I'm acting in good faith and that I would never stand by an idea that I didn't believe was true. But even with all the bad that's come out of the situation, we can still get some good out of it. Please go and report Stone Toss. The past couple of days, he's been deleting hundreds of his older tweets in an attempt to not get banned. Or he's just deleting old tweets because, I mean, I do that. I think everybody does that at some point. But he hasn't deleted any of the ones referenced in this video yet. Oh, so I guess he's not really afraid because he those tweets are apparently not worthy of getting a ban. Let's get him off this platform for violating Twitter's terms of service by fostering a bigoted community and sicking them on minorities online. So we can- Let's get rid of deplatformers. Can we do that? I don't like deplatformers. Can we get rid of deplatformers? Celebrate him being banned. Again. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is obviously very different. Don't be a smug asshole on the internet, or else I'll cover videos, I guess, of you being a smug asshole on the internet. 